Jake, I really didn't want to make another video regarding the past couple of days, but yesterday you showed up to my house with two other people in a car to only start trouble. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bitch? Because this is so funny. It's funny because it's we showed up. Your day? Which, I'd love to see you try. Good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. Today's video is different than normal uh, because something happened yesterday and I want to give you guys the truth on actually what did happen and only the truth. But before I do that, if you're not yet a part of the family, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and never miss out any videos here that I post on my channel. Also, if you see me looking down at all at like my monitor, I have some things typed up that I do want to say and also I'm looking at OBS I'm using that as a LCD screen because my Sony camera does not have a flip out screen so it helps out with me being able to make sure my camera shot looks well so yesterday afternoon as I was in the process of uploading my video I got a FaceTime call from Jake Duffner and he was saying that he's here at my house and I need to come outside so without thinking I grabbed my camera as I normally would do and I went outside to see Jake and two of his friends sitting in his girlfriend's car because his car that he owns is literally dog shit and he thinks it's a race car. But back on the topic though, as I went outside yesterday, he was already giving me a problem about me filming on my own street and saying I had my camera up in his face. Oh shit, he really is here. Huh? Yeah, it's good right now. It's not even recording. It's recording. I'm not telling Bro, you. it's not recording. Now, get the fucking camera out of my face. What? Bro. My camera's not in your face. My camera's over here. Yeah, you all, because you usually would have it up in my face, but you got yourself That's a little so camera, man. You're gonna invade someone's privacy for Bro, you guys are here at my house right now. You're invading my privacy. Bro, you bro, you, you, bro, I, you bro. He was also saying that I told you all to break into his apartment. Not once did those words ever come out of my mouth. I don't condone really breaking into people's apartments or breaking into any buildings in general. I was just trying to film a piece of content, and, you know, I thought my homie, Jake, would be okay with me, you know, spending 24 hours in his house making a fucking YouTube video. Didn't think of it being that big of a deal, but Jake... Um, is trying to do what he does best, and that is basically manipulate other people's words, try to twist things to make people believe him, and just, just try to throw as much hate as possible towards me. And that is one thing I know that Jake is very good at, is just manipulating everything to make people feel sorry for him. Telling your fans to break into my house. I didn't tell anybody to break into your house, Jake. You didn't Jake. say that, those exact words, but that's what these little kids so you, think. See, so you're trying to twist this saying, I was saying those words. Don't, why, why are you exposing me all over the internet? Showing where I live, showing how to break into my house. You show where you live all okay, the time. Are right, you showing where I live right now? I'm yeah, fine with I don't that. Give a fuck at this point. Jake, you have shown where you live so many different times. You can clearly see your apartment complex building in the background. You can see inside of it because you film inside of it, and you also film on the outside. So don't come at me saying I expose where you live, dude. You've already put yourself out on the internet. You've already put where you live out on the internet. And dude, honestly, if I was just driving around and I saw your shitty car sitting in that parking lot I'd be like oh hey that's where jake duffner lives maybe i should just take a paintball gun and you know just shoot his car up for fun and i don't condone anybody trying to do that either also what real friend makes their friends sign ndas he even forced his girlfriend of a few years literally to sign one which bro that is totally messed up like who forces their girlfriend to sign an NDA? Oh yeah, a bitch like you, Jake. As I'm about to say in the next clip, when I talk about his NDA and all that bull crap that comes along with it, I prove that it's 100% invalid. And that's due to the fact that it wouldn't hold up in court because it was not legally notarized. The big problem I have with all of this is yesterday when Jake showed up to my house, he had to bring two friends with him because I guess he was scared just to come alone. Like, dude, you can just come face to face talk to me. If you got a problem, go ahead, hit me. I, I don't care. Let me just step out of the car and make this easier because it's too hot in that. Oh, uh, now you're going to have your car too? Yeah. And you're pissing me off, bro. I'm pissing you off, this, dude. This I don't. You wanna, just showed up to my house to fucking I don't start want to yelling at me. Legal matters, but something I just thought about, bro, is you willingly signed video consent forms in my house and non-disclosure agreements. All right, video house, consent forms that you cannot discuss of anything that we talked about. Or all right, hold on, Jake. First off, first it off, for thousands of people to see. First off, Jake, those oh. NDAs are invalid. Oh my god. Those dude. NDAs you have are invalid. They weren't legally notarized the same day as I signed bro, it. So therefore, he signed papers agreeing that he will not 
not release any Actually, of, hold on, 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 don't touch me. Because I've already what, heated and what real friend, money. What real friend would make their friend sign a fucking NDA? Someone that doesn't trust their friend because you already do, dude, he calls the cops on us when we go do videos. Yeah, because yeah, I was fucking concerned for your safety, for dude. Safety. I have a lot, okay, this is off the record, I have a lot of stuff that I keep on a down low business-wise, okay? I'm not just a YouTuber, I do a lot of business coming through my house, and when I, people come I to do, my house, I do I lots of business, sign. I do lots of business. Yeah. Yeah, but the only difference is I keep that. They haven't known that for however long I did YouTube. I'm saying it now because you're fucking. Mm, yeah, I'm doing business, trying to flex on all your fans. Yeah, I'm doing. Oh, I dude, I don't flex on my fans anymore. like you. Yeah, right. I keep this shit. All right, when you were out in LA, you're always buying Louis Vuitton, Gucci, I flexing could. it. I did that. I was a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. I film what I do every day. Yeah, same here. But you're flexing on your fans. Like, yo, look at me. I got Louis Vuitton. Oh, look at these Louis my Vuitton fans shoes. Have no idea what I do business wise. They don't have no have no idea how much money I have or what I do. Yeah, cause you got no money, dude. This. Okay, that's beyond the point. I don't give a fuck about that, bro. You signed papers. Yeah, and you're not Jake, going to Jake, and legally, those paper, papers won't hold up in court. Yes, they will. I was not, told, I was to told NDA is not valid unless it's actually unless it legally signed. It. It no, no, it's not just by me, it. not just by me, but if it's legally signed and notarized. So it's because it's, it's, it's not notarized, video. it's not legal. So, so it's good that he had well, to he sign Well, he made that. you sign one no. too, right? Yeah, everybody that lives there had to sign one. Bro, the thing oh is, oh wait, so you're making phone. you're making your roommates also sign NDAs too? Yeah, my girlfriend signed an NDA. What kind of guy makes his girlfriend sign an NDA? But it wasn't Jake who got up in my face and in my grill. It was his friend Sebastian who literally got up in my face and I just pushed them back like, yo, dude, get out of my face. Like, if you want to do something, throw a punch because I will beat the living day out of you. Don't show up to my ass talking shit. Ain't nobody showed up to your house. Don't touch me, bro. I'm telling you, I swear. Bro, I'll drop bro. you. You drop me. See this reach compared to yours? I don't care about your reach. You think I'm scared of you? Bro, my brother's in the Marines. I ain't stopping you, bro. I will uh, fuck Seth you up. up. Seth him up. <laughs> oh, you're laughing because you're, you're a little bitch, huh? <laughs> you're a joke, you're bro. You're, you're a, a joke. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bitch? Because <laughs> this is so funny. It's funny because it's he showed up. Your day? I'd love to see you try. Both of you guys aren't going to do shit, bro. Why don't you shut the fuck up, Jake? Fuck you, Jake. Don't talk to him like that. Straight up. You want to do something, you better fucking do it now. And you better do it first. Because I swear to you, I will fuck your day up. Why don't you guys just up. get the fuck out of here before I fuck your day up? I fuck your day up. Bro, I I will, you ain't going to do shit. <laughs> For your <laughs> personal <laughs> safety, <laughs> I advise you to back up. I advise you to back up. Here at my house? One punch. You will oh, not see the God. light of day for a week. Oh, light of day for a week. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> how, about, how about this? How about you guys get the fuck out of here before I call the cops? Because last time I call called the cops. Jake, you oh, always no, 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 no. Then why are you even here? Oh, I got this doesn't even. Uh, this isn't even your matter. property, I can sue him. But guess what? We have two things to sue you for. You touched his car, private property. You broke into his apartment, private property. All right. You broke an NDA agreement. You broke an NDA agreement. Ah, just fuck off. All right, yeah, get the fuck out. What did you call me? I called you a pussy. All right. All right. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> look, look at them leaving. Look at them finally leaving, thinking they could pull up on me here at my own house. All they can do is fuck off. I'm gonna end today's video on this note. I guess I should have never kept that footage in my video. All right, whatever. It's not a big deal. But this is a guy who went to a Chuck E. Cheese with his friend and wouldn't even take a video down. Basically, they stayed 24 hours in a Chuck E. Cheese and the manager from this Chuck E. Cheese ended up getting fired due to the fact that they would not take the video down. They literally cost somebody their job. And then he just tries to say, well, they weren't doing their job because, you know, they didn't check the whole entire place when they shut down. I don't know, guys. That's just all I got to say about that. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a like down below. Don't be afraid to follow me on my social medias at Jeff Saxon Vlogs on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out on Saxon Family. Remember, you guys can do anything you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive and well. Peace. I feel like I botched my whole entire outro at this point, but right now there's just so much stress because of this bullshit going on.